Many people have asked me this. How much HTML, CSS, and JavaScript do you need to know to land a web developer job? It is time to talk about this so you stop wasting time learning stuff that you don't need to. Hey friends, I'm Seven and I've been working as a software engineer in the EU and the UK now for more than five years. And I happen to have been in your position in the past, so I'm here to help you land your first developer job. The answer to this question has a big it depends. But let's talk about in general and in my opinion, what you need to know in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to land a job. Okay, so I thought of explaining this by reflecting on what job listings normally ask for. So this is using the word in solid understanding and knowledge of. I decided to use this because I find these words misleading when you read them in job listings and you don't know what level of knowledge is really expected from you. So let's give it some meaning. Solid understanding will mean that you have at least 60% grasp of a certain content. So in my opinion, it also means that you have created projects using this knowledge. Knowledge of will mean you have at least 20% grasp of a certain content, meaning that you at least know the concept or you are aware of its existence. Why just 60% and 20%? Well, I'll explain this just in a bit. HTML is very extensive and knowing every little detail by heart is almost impossible because you won't be using every HTML tag when building a project of your own or at work. So you shouldn't aim for knowing every tag or feature of HTML. But still, there are some concepts you should know and dominate well. In my opinion, you must have an intermediate level of knowledge and a solid understanding of the structure of an HTML document. So that's the HTML head and body tags, common tags, lists and tables. These tags you use every day like divs, span, h1, h2, paragraph, anchors, images, on order and order lists and all this stuff. Attributes as well. So know your way around attributes like ID, classes, href, source, all title, on click, on hover, and so on. Semantic HTML. So that's header, footer, nav, article, section, and other tags. Forms as well. This is for sure where you should spend most of your time. So that's practicing with forms, inputs, text area, buttons, labels, etc. Whatever element is associated with forms. Also, you should have some knowledge of HTML5. So some new HTML5 elements like main, figure, fig caption, and others. Accessibility. So that's area roles and all that stuff. And also SEO best practices. CSS is also a very extensive language and it has infinite features. I've never had to know all of them after all these years of coding. So for sure you won't need to know it all to apply for your first job. But let's talk about what you really need. A solid understanding of CSS syntax and selectors. So that's the basic syntax you'll use in CSS. And of course, selectors like class, ID, element, attribute, descendant, child, and others. Common properties and values like color, background color, font family, font size, margin, padding, border, width, height, display, and some others. You want to know box model as well, positioning, flex box, grid layout, responsive design, typography, like knowledge of font properties including font family, font size, and how to use Google Fonts, for example. Also, you will need to have some knowledge of transitions and animations, pseudo classes and pseudo elements, preprocessors like SAS, and CSS variables. Hey friends, I would truly appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it. You know, this will help me to keep on creating more content like this. JavaScript is the biggest piece here because it is actually the programming language you will learn. And learning JavaScript is what will take most of your time. It is of course more complicated than HTML and CSS, but it's definitely more fun. Again, as with CSS and HTML, no one will expect you to know everything in detail. It takes ages to master JavaScript. It is always being updated with new features features, so it's almost impossible to learn it all and keep up with the new stuff. To learn JavaScript, you will need a solid understanding of syntax and basics, like types of variables, data types and operators, control structures, so loops, conditionals and logic operators, functions, how to declare and use functions, arrow functions, the scope of a function, etc. Events. This is very important. So that's how to work with events, such as click, mouse over, key down, using event listeners. Then we have DOM manipulation. This is also super important and you should be practicing this with projects. ES6 plus features, such as template literal, the structuring assignments, spread rest operators, default parameters, and modules like import and export. Array methods, there are way too many of these, but at least know your way around map, filter, 
for it, find some every and includes updates. So that's update manipulation as this will be probably your day to day as well and understanding that this keyword error handling. So here a basic understanding of error handling using try catch. Now moving on to the knowledge of section, you will need to have some knowledge of asynchronous JavaScript, fetch, API and Ajax, the event loop and closures. So did you notice why I was talking about solid understanding being 60% and knowledge of being 20%? It is nearly impossible to learn these concepts at 100% when you don't have professional working experience and spend 8 hours every day of the week working with them. If you remember well, I said that the answer to the question of how much HTML, CSS and JavaScript you need to know to land a web developer job has a big it depends. It depends on the role and the company you are a applying to. Everybody has different expectations and this happens no matter the level of seniority you have as a developer. So far, I've talked about the general stuff you should know, but how do you know if you're ready for the job you're applying for? To learn a job, you should first look for more or less what is the knowledge level of these skills needed in the job listings. So for this, do a quick job search and look for apprenticeships, graduate or junior developer jobs and check how they describe what you need to know. For example, in this job I found on Indeed, they mentioned you should have an understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which in theory means that you should not master these skills, but know the basics. So this can determine how deep you should go in your knowledge for this position. Then if you're applying for a specific job, do you know what the company does? Do you know what is the role about? Normally job listings tell you what you'll do in the job and you can expect related questions slash coding problems in the interviews. For example, in the role we just saw, they mentioned you'll be assisting with email creation. So probably you'll be creating small articles with basic layouts using HTML and CSS to send across emails. But then they say you will work with a range of development projects and tasks, which is not very clear, but you can Google what the company does and get a hint for what you'll be doing and perhaps practice HTML, CSS, and JavaScript around the domain of the company. Knowing this can help you determine if with the knowledge you have, you could create create basic layouts in HTML and CSS, and if not, it tells you in what areas you should focus on when learning. To check the knowledge level and the role specification is a good practice because you can more or less expect what will be required for you to know. But this is not an exact science, so take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt. So stop wasting time learning all the edge cases of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These are infinite languages to learn, but do learn to some extent what I've recommended previously. That should be enough for a junior or graduate position. Trust me, you won't be expected to have a deep knowledge of all this stuff. Other than that, remember that there are still some technologies you will need to learn. For this, try to follow a front-end developer roadmap. I have one on my channel, I'll pop it around here, and you can find others on the internet as well. In general, I advise you to complete an HTML, CSS, and JavaScript course and create a few projects to practice all the skills you learn from the course. Also, remember to prepare really well for interviews. Hope this was helpful, support me if you enjoyed this video and drop some questions in the comment section. I'm always happy to help. Like the video and subscribe for more. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.